Streamline Back Shop presents a brief demonstration of our latest install project. Tonight we're looking at a GHB International Reading Crusader. And oh, what a beautiful train that is. This is the Streamline Pacific that ran, as I recall, from Philadelphia to uh, Wall Street, I believe, uh, to New York City and back and uh, was a very unique train. It was a five car set and it had two observations on it. So uh, pull it forward. The real train had two observation cars and the rear of the tender was designed such that it would shroud the end of the, the front observation car and they did this because they didn't have a way to turn the whole train so they would uncouple, turn the, uh, turn the engine on a uh, turntable or a Y and then reconnect it to the other end of the train and there was always an observation at the end of the train that way. Um, this example is This example is fitted with a an ESU 73400 Sound Select Decoder. Uh, the model is uh, features an 8-pin NMRA connector, so it's a plug-and-play install. It has a sound chamber built in for a 28mm speaker. Uh, we've put an ESU speaker in it, and if you can't tell, it sounds really good, really loud. The Loke Sound Select gives you uh, oh, a, a, a wide variety of, of whistles to choose from, 15 I believe, um, and in this particular model we've uh, programmed it to use a reading 6 chime uh, steam whistle which uh, should be appropriate for this engine. I, I, I honestly I haven't studied it close but reading is reading so we're in the ballpark right um, as you can tell it's uh, got a lot of volume that's the factory default setting uh, which is only about 70 percent maybe 80 percent sounds good uh, some of the other sound effects that are available, this is the coupler, the draft blower, the headlight, and that's the dynamo. I don't know if you can see it in this video, but uh, forward just a little bit. You still notice the uh, chef timing on this. There's no cam installed and uh, we're hitting four chef per revolution perfectly. Uh, if you can't see, there's uh, an engineer and a brakeman in the, the cab and uh, a cab light comes on for them. Back her up here. So there's our dynamo sound. Nice, bright, warm white. Definitely a warm white, not a bright white. 
headlight. We'll turn that off, get rid of the dynamo sound for a little bit here. We've got um, the air pumps. Uh, an oil burner, which is a standard sound. It's not necessarily appropriate for this locomotive, but part of the Loc Sound Select uh, sound set. Here's Fireman Joe shoveling coal. Here are our injectors. Here is a crossing communication. Probably uh, not appropriate for this uh, specific locomotive since I doubt they had radios in uh, 1940, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we can have that with our decoder because it's our train, right? Here's a uh, rail clack, although the locomotive has to be moving. Here's our brake set and release and the sanding valve and cylinders. Oh, I'm sorry, the cylinder cocks. We're going to blow down the steam and our short whistle. So that's the full sound set that comes with the Loc Sound Select. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is file number 73417, which is their steam collection. Um, now, we'll just do a real quick runoff. Uh, this is speed step one. those who are counting that's about four chefs per revolution without a cam So there you go, that's the GHB Reading Crusader, a nice smooth running locomotive. Uh, it's fitted with a, an ESU Loc Sound Decoder, uh, which uh, really makes her run sweet. Nice and smooth and streamlined, just like the locomotive. This is Streamline Back Shop Services. Come visit us on the web at www.sbs4dcc.com.